So let's get started. Is everyone out there watching? I hope you know. Take notes because these are all available online. So you can order online and we can do curbside pickup or you can just mail it right to your house or you can stop in because we are open regular hours Monday through Sunday. Okay, let's see. Where should we start? Oh, this is one of my favorites because you know what? When you're sewing, you don't want to get up to your design wall and you're working on this one block and you want to see how it really works. This is a mini design wall. I know it's not truly really called that. I think it's called like some prop it, but I call it a mini design wall. So it's perfect to sit um, right by your machines and then when of course classes start over again, you could take it to class so you don't have to keep getting up to the design walls because you know we have design walls in our in our classes, so it helps you out when you're in a quilting class. Another thing is for organizing, because you know we all have those bobbins. This is actually a jumbo one, so those who have the Bernina machine or have the quilting machine, these are great for the bobbins. And they're not supposed to fall out, and you know what? They don't. Phew, that was, I thought they were going to on it. So those are awesome. Okay, another little thing is these little blue things, which I discovered the other day. Is this is a iron finger. It's a big finger, by the way, on it. But it allows you to take and use it with your iron. So if you have, say, like a curve, whether you're doing garments or quilting or even purses and stuff, you can take this and you can actually put it in there and move it where it kind of takes the seam out. See if I can do this, right? Because everyone's watching, I can't do it. You can kind of push your seam out, but watch this. When you do that, you can take your cordless Panasonic iron and kind of iron it down so it makes it nice and flat so your seams are nice and straight and, well, this one's curved, but, you know, you get what I mean on it. You can also use this, too, on a thing if you're going, let's go this way, and you want to iron that seam down, you can also use it that way, and it kind of acts as a surface, a hard surface on it so you can um, get your seams flattened out also. So that is the iron finger and <coughs> we're going to post all the items for this in our um, Facebook so don't worry if you miss something let us know but it's by Clover. It's a really nice item and it's two in one with that. The next thing is hold it precision stiletto. So it's a two in one. I know we all have this thing called purple, purple thing. But this is a little different. See, you can use this for ironing because it has a tip similar to what this is. Plus, you can also use this for a stiletto, like on your sewing machine. And you can use it this way, sideways. It helps push the fabric through or you don't get your fingers. We don't want to sew, on our, sew our fingers anytime soon. So with this one, you can come with the iron and you can put your finger, not your finger, the stiletto right up against the ironing and push it down so you can't burn your finger. Well, you never say never, but hopefully you don't burn your finger using this tool. But like I said, with this also, you can use this on your sewing machine. And you can just push the fabric right into it. Or if you need to cook something or even grab your thread from your needle threader, this is perfect for this. And this is by Clover also. And it's hold precision stiletto on it. What's that mat you're ironing on? This is a Gypsy. It's by Gypsy. It is a pressing mat, a wool pressing mat. The nice thing about the wool pressing mat, it doesn't take all the steam and all your heat and put it through the mat, like your regular ironing board. This actually puts all everything right inside the mat so it holds it, plus it um, makes the press better versus just all the heat going straight through it. And with embroidery, it's even better because it makes your embroidery, don't it makes it stand out instead of pressing it down. Because if you press your embroidery, on a regular ironing board, your embroidery kind of flans out. With the wool mat, you can actually have it stand up on that. Speaking of embroidery, this is a new collection we have. It's by OESD. It's the uh, scissor tail stitches. It's kind of like a funny kitchen thing. This one we did says be grateful. It's a little cheese grater. So cute. They have one that says don't flip out with a spatula. And one of my favorite ones is let live and let fry frying pans, you know. And what other one is just roll with it. Well, you know, these days we're just rolling with it. And that's what we're doing here at 35th Avenue. We're just rolling with it. One day at a time, because you know, who knows on it. So that's why we're still open and here you can shop anytime. So that's a good one. So that is OESC Honey Kitchens on it. 
And it's their new um, scissor tail stitches, just in case you didn't get that. Oh, and I have, they made me stand behind the, in front of this fabric back here because it's some awesome fabric. It's actually by Riley Blake. It's called American Legacy. And, and I just want to say, Karen's standing over here, you know, Karen from the fabric manager over here. <laughs> and she just wanted to, you know, she was hoping I said that right. And I did, so we're good, right? I did American Legacy. It's a new fabric collection. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, look at the red, white, and blue. It's just, it's, it's stunning. So it is all online. Again, we'll post it there, so in case you, that. So, got you. Call line three. Oh, Karen see, we're still three. working. <laughs> Karen has to go back to work now. No. <laughs> all right. So a couple other things. So far, so good. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for all you. But another thing we have, which is my favorite thing, um, for embroidery. I know people use it for um, paper piecing or what's the other word for the paper piecing? The foundation. Foundation. Yeah, foundation pe paper piecing. They use this for that so when you're hand sewing, you can click your um, fabric and your paper together. But you know what? I love to embroider. If you didn't know that about me, I am all about embroidery. So I like to use these. They are called sew, sew tights for the tightness of it. And you have different ones here. But I like to use it for my embroidery hoop. So if you look, I have the middle and the back and then the magnet. They're magnets that hold your hoop in. So when I slide my embroidery, I don't have to use tape. I don't even have to use sticky. I can just snap them in and put, place them where I am. Again, a warning. Don't put them where your embroidery is going to go. You don't want to sew. Your needle will not go through these. Just saying. Not that I have had that happen yet. But, you know, it might. But so you want to make sure you place them enough away from the embroidery so you don't have that accident. And the nice thing is you can get different size packs. Like this is a 10 pack and it has little ones. I prefer the one that has the variety because with the variety you get circle, a, a couple of rectangles, but you get different sizes. So that's great for that on it. And like I said, we have tons of different ones for that. And that's for the embroidery. And of course we were doing tea towels. And we just used that with our tear away and it stuck perfect and no mess on it. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, the iron I was using. If you haven't noticed, I love this Panasonic cordless iron. And, okay everyone, I know it's cordless, but it has to have a cord to plug in. The cordless part is when you use the iron, it's cordless. So don't, you know, go wonder what happened, how does that work? It is used. The base is plugged in, the iron itself is cordless. But look it, it has a tip here and a tip here on it. So that means I can go this way, I can go this way. That means I'm not going, okay, like team here, okay, I'm going over here. You can use it either way, it's easy to slide. It's a great, perfect thing for a your mat, your wool mat to iron on. Especially when you don't have one to get up to go to your ironing board on it. Because you know, we all have to get the steps up. So you might want to go to the ironing bar because we got to get our steps in since we're all home, you know, sewing all the time now. So let's see. I love that. And it comes in different colors. This is one of my favorite colors on it. What was that? $139 is the price on these on it. So, and they're beautiful. And you can take this right to, since Karen is telling me, you can take this right to your faucet or your um, water because it's quick and easy to pop out. All right, I think I got that. Um, a couple other things is um, one major thing. You ready for the finale here? This is, if you all know Fabric Confetti, has a new new um, pattern out. And it's this hot off the press. Bruce from Bruce Allen from Designs from Fabric Confetti just dropped this off this morning so I can show it to you guys. It is awesome and you can start it now because you know what? It's Christmas. It is so cool. You gotta watch it. It's called the Ugly Christmas Sweater Design. It is so cool. You should see these. I mean, they're some really, they're not ugly. They're so cute, but they're, but they're ugly. But they're all applique, all embroidery. And Bruce just debuted this for fabric confetti and it is so awesome and I'm so proud of him on this. So we have these available hot off the press. He just debuted it I think two or three days ago. So they're online so you can order them. They run $50 
and they give you a CD and give you all the directions how to applique on that. So, so exciting for that. So I think we're done. I just want to check in. Any other questions or anything like that, let us know. We're on Facebook. You can um, pop in questions and we can answer them. And that's it for now. Jackie out. Bye, Jackie.